All right, so I'm in the garage. It's kind of hard uh, to move around this thing, but I'll show you everything I can. Uh, where do I start? So yeah, this door, you know, it's got some filler cracking and stuff. It's a suicide door, so they kind of custom made this thing. Um, it's going to need a little work, but it's all there. It's intact. Most of the rest of the body is actually really nice. Um, you know, there's some wiggles in the long panels. And you can kind of see one up there. See it? Uh, which wouldn't take but a little skim coat and some blocking. Um, so the, you can see here, you know, the it's cracked. Kind of, it's, you know, this stuff's available through Kirk. But, uh. Starting to pull away from the body. It's got a fiberglass bumper too. That's you know it's kind of cracking off the body too. I think the guy that moved it for me might have uh, cracked it, but it's, you can tell it's pretty brittle, so can't really blame him. Um, this tail light, I got tail light lenses for it, um, but it's pushed in. You can see there, so that would need to be it's dented down here in the corner. That's really the only extent of like the body damage on it. I think there's a bullet hole here in the back door. Um, the wing is still intact somewhat. This piece, it's got the pieces that go on there broke off. It's in the van. Uh, I believe you can still buy those um, wings. Uh, but there's a little, you know, there's rust here. Drip rail. Um, still got, you know, still got the wheels on it. Um, but those are going to definitely need to be redone. But that's the ones that were on it when it was built. Um, so the T-top areas like in here, you know, it's going to need some work. Um, but yeah, you can see here that the roof sucks. But I think it's fixable. I don't think it's worth uh, replacing the whole roof skin. Because it really, it's not bad back there. Like the whole top up here is actually pretty nice. Um, I think this is just where they had filler um, for the, you know, kind of smooth it out and blend it in the t tops. They just it looks like they just had a skim coat. Maybe, this might even just be paint. That's pretty thick, but I mean it's too thick to be paint. But um, the drip rails actually don't look bad. Like they're not really rotted out or anything. It's more on the other side. Um, you can see this. It actually, it looks worse in on my phone than it does in person. This stuff is still solid. It's not, uh, you know, it's a lot of surface shit. Uh, here's the uh, inside. Like the seats, backs and stuff, I think are savable because they had those covers on them. Uh, a lot of this interior you can get away with just... Uh, recovering like certain portions of it and reusing a lot of the original stuff because it's still in pretty decent shape. Uh, you know, the carpet's faded, of course, but it's all there. Still got the overhead console. Well, the cool thing is everything's there for you. Power windows, it's got cruise, it's AC van. Everything's there for you to use as a template. Um, let's see. So yeah, here, I got a flashlight with me, but there's one of the louvers, which those are still available. Like, all the stuff is still here. You know, this is naturally sagging because of the damn uh, water leak. That panel that goes there is right there. Uh, this back seat's still probably, you can probably steam clean a lot of this stuff. I mean, all the pads are still in really nice shape. Uh, just like in the magazine. Um, it's hard to, it's kind of hard to tell in here, but it's, it's not bad. It's really not. I think a lot of it is usable still. Uh, this was, and this right here was pulling away. Can you, yeah, that's the hinge that they made. So that's going to have to be fixed and reinforced. It's, it's uh, splitting away from the door jam on this door, but it still functions. Uh, but there's no rust. Anywhere on the rockers or quarters or let's see if I can get this flashlight. You can it's still got California smog stuff on it. But that's like factory primer. And it pretty much looks like that. 
around the whole van. You see the rockers over there? Again, this stupid shadow. There you go. Uh, no, naturally the exhaust looks rusty, but there's the frame. Like this thing is clean as can be. Let's see if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that rocker. Um, but it looks like that across the whole bottom. It's, I'm pretty sure this is just factory primer. You know, not even, there's no leaks or nothing underneath. It's been sitting here for a few months. Nothing leaks. Um, it's just going to need a good cosmetic restoration under here. Uh, you know, the motor, I mean, you can't really see nothing, but I showed you underneath there. I mean, even the... Check out this transmission fluid. If I can get out of there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's still pretty. That's pretty pink. Uh, it's pretty clean. Uh, you know, it's gonna need belts and houses and the typical. Restoration stuff. Can I get this back in here while I'm recording? Ah, it's so long. Ah. So, and here's this side. You know, I think, yeah, this was a little worse for the T top area on this side. That's going to have to be cut and replaced. That's where you're. Little dowel pin deals go for your T tops. Like I said, most of it's the roof on this thing, but everything's still here. And then there's the odometer, which can you see it? Fifteen thousand, which is possible. That could be original. I mean, the brake pedal's not like worn on the corner where it still says Mr. T on the floor mat, but it. You know, usually if you hit 115,000 miles on this thing, that the, the corner of that brake pedal would be smooth and worn, which it's not. Um, but this is probably the worst of the roof for us. It's just down this. I don't, I don't think I've even really been up here. Like crazy been up here. It's just along this edge. The drip rail is still solid. This is just... Uh, this is old seam sealer popping here, but it's not rusted. The, the drip edge is still fine. It's just this skin. Just down this skin here on this one side this is the worst of it. It looks pretty bad, but it's really not considering the rest of the van is so solid underneath. But see this side still got the piece on it for the wing. And this side, as far as the flares go, is a little better. It's more intact. Uh, but looking down, at this side's pretty straight. Like the body, it's not going to need a lot of body work. You can see I buffed it out a little bit. But look at that. I mean, that's like a mirror. It's a. Uh, it's going to be mostly roof stuff. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll start. It's cold. I need to set the choke. Uh, choke's not set. Usually gotta pump the crap out of it. It's dead cold. I have not tried to warm it up for you. And like I said, the choke's not set. It's got electric fuel pump. I put a new fuel pump on it. Yeah, see, it's... Gotta pump it up. But I want you to see it run. It needs the belts tightened too, which I've neglected to do. It's got a little exhaust leak. It's got headers on it. It's got an exhaust leak over here I haven't inspected, but... <laughs> the alternator 
belt is like flapping around. I was gonna tighten it the other day and I got frustrated and drank a beer instead. Once it warms up, it takes right off. Just, I don't think the choke is set. I think it's got a manual choke, and I didn't even pull the knob. I think last time I pulled the knob, it, uh, it stuck closed and flooded it out. I mean, I'm inside, and you don't see any smoke floating around in here. It runs really good. Yeah, you, I, I would bail the California smog stuff. Uh, I don't really know what else to show you, man. Like I said, that roof's the worst of it, and then you know, it's, this interior on the back here is all sun faded or crusty. That's going to need replaced, but it, let's see if I can get a... There's the... I mean, this interior back here is great. I would save a lot of this and just clean it up because it looks like it's never even been sat in. But that's where the TV and stuff used to sit. That's missing. There used to be another cabinet there, I think, for the stereo system, but it's gone now. I think that's the only two things that are really missing, but this side's good. Like I said, I just picked up some taillight lenses. This has got a hole in that fiberglass bumper, but, uh, you know, that's some fiberglass, like, matting. You could, you could re-fiberglass all, all this stuff. There's Warlock. I gotta finish it. But yeah. I think I've showed, I think I showed you pretty much the worst of it, man. Um, if it's, if you dig it, give me a call back. <laughs>